Good morning, everyone. How are you? Right. Um, so this morning we're just carrying on from what we did last week, and um, we've. This is our penultimate week of this this little six-week block. So by now you'll all be experts. I won't need to show you everything. <laughs> I'll be fine. Right. <laughs> Um, yeah, so just as always, work to your own ability um, and if there's something that's too difficult or too taxing, even if it's just because it's too early in the morning, just take it down a step and just work to how you feel you can manage. Okay, right, so we're going to start off with our sways and arm circles, really simple, four sways with soft knees, one, two, three, four, and then a gallop one way and a gallop the other and we just repeat that hundreds of times and at the end I'll say sway with a little twist and you can just go through the music because it's a wee bit fast and you're just going to keep the knees relaxed and we're just trying to get a twist in the upper body middle of your back okay just to wake ourselves up this morning here we go ready and one two three Four. Good. With a smile first thing. Good, we've got two more sets of this one. Just in your own time. Just watch your hands of your near objects in your room. Well done. Right, next one is just to get our feet moving. So we're going to start off with, I'll see if I can count correctly today, four little stretches forward with your heels. So you're going one, change two change three change four then we're going to do four either steps or springs and you're picking the toe up off the, the foot up off the floor and really again really trying to stretch the front of it one two three four and then you do those springs as fast as you can with the arms taking up the bra five six seven eight then we start again one stretch two stretch three Stretch four, point two, three, four, run. Okay, right, here we go. Really, really pushing the heels forward. One, two, three, four, then spring. One, two, fast. Then stretch one, two, Three, four, little springs. Toes, toes, toes. Run. Go again. Point, two, three, four. Push. Two, three, four. Spring. Two, run. Go again. Well done. Hopefully you feel a little bit more awake and ready for action. Right, we're going to go to our bar next for our plies. So it doesn't matter. Whatever you're using, just make sure it's stable, that you're not going to put your hands on it and it's going to go one way and you'll go the other. Okay, so we're starting off with a plie. And plies are just bends. And we're at, we've added in a rise and a port de bras. But if you don't know what those are, I... I don't think any of the new ladies are here today. 
Um, if you're not sure what they are, really easy to follow. So we're going to take a demi plie, which is a bend, their feet in first. Bend and squeeze. Then arise. You're going to lift the heels and lift the arm up and down. Plie and squeeze the legs together. And that's going to take you up into that rise. Rise and lower. Then we take the demi plie. Take the arm all the way out, up, over towards your bar. Another scoop and rise. If you want to on this one, you can take a little balance, so no hands on the bar. Come down in your plie, open the leg, so stretch it, it's a tondu, the second position, and we're ready to do the whole thing in second position. After you've done your balance, we'll bring that leg in front, so that's third position. After you've done your balance, we're going to either turn to face the back, so you can use the other leg and arm, or you can just swap sides so you can still face your device. Okay? I'll swap sides so then I can kind of see what's going on over there. Right, so we start with first position. Arm down. Try to pull the legs together. Long sides. Ready, demi plie. Bend. Then squeeze up into that rise. Demi plie. Take the arm up and over. Rise. Balance. Come down. Open. Second position. Well done, keeping straight posture, it's lovely. Demi plie, up, over. Scoop, hold, come down, bring that leg in front. Squeeze up into the rise. Demi plie, take the arm up, over. Scoop and hold. Turn to face the other side or use the other arm. Bend. Rise. Then our demi plie, take the arm up. And over. Now we're going to go up into the rise and hold it as long as you can. So we can get to the last echo of the music. Ah. I've not done <laughs> And relax. Well done, everyone. Your balance was so much better than mine, as always. Right, I'm just going to let this person in. We're going to go on to our Batman Tondus now, and that's just a stretch with your legs and feet. So we start off in third position, arm in braba, um, and we'll just take the arm to second for this one. So we're going to the front and flex. So you're pushing the heel forwards, and you're trying to stretch the back of your knees. Stretch and squeeze. Stretch and flex. Third. Time da yam baram. Turn either to face the back or to swap hands. Again, that's a personal preference when we're all working in different spaces. We repeat that on the second side. Three point flexes. Come back round. Then we repeat it, but this time with a fondus. It's a bend on the sporting leg. That would go stretch, push with your heel and bend on that sporting leg at the same time. Stretch and close three times. Then on the second side. Then I'll have to restart the music and we're going to take it all derriere using the back leg. So I'll remind you at the time, but it just means you have to start kind of back to front a little bit. And that leg is behind you. The hard part there is where we do it with um, the fondue because you want one leg straight and one leg bent. 
Right, here we go. Batmon tondus. Ready? Keep both legs straight initially. Squeeze, stretch. Third one. And turn. Well done. Stretch, flex, really push forward with the heel. So still going to the front, but with the fondue stretch, push. Good. Turn. Well then try and keep you really straight on the up fondue. long straight posture at the end yeah when I said stay straight on the fondue what I mean um, is that you're trying to keep that straight posture when you're on one leg okay and not lean in towards your bar okay rather than keep both legs straight so it wasn't very clear when I blurted it out so this time outside leg is going derriere he okay, sits so at the back we'll take the arm to second but you're starting with the outside leg, the leg furthest away from your bar is going derriere to the back. Three with straight legs, three with straight legs, three adding the fondue, three adding the fondue. So when you fondue with the leg derriere much harder to keep the body upright, it's very easy to tip forwards. Don't do that, that's wrong. Okay, so try and keep that nice long straight posture in our back. Here we go. Well done, lovely still bodies. Change. So take the leg behind, remember. Stretch the back. Change sides or legs or arms, whichever. Take the leg behind. Adding the fondue. Imagine you've got something balanced on your head here. Good change. Well done. Change. Good. So when you're practicing that one, um, with the recording or just as something to do in your spare time um, what you could do is take something light and unbreakable so I've just got a yoga block here um, and balance it on your head so that when you're taking that um, tondu and fondu you're keeping that straight posture because as soon as you lean forward it's going to plummet to earth okay it's a really easy little test and it's quite fun as well Right, uh, glaces, yes, glaces, so we're going to face your bar this time, so it depends how you're set up, um, obviously if, you, if you're confident, you don't need to use the bar at all, you can do the whole thing just with your arms in first, important things to think about are using these abdominals at the side to keep your body really still, so my abdominals are maximum stretch, so they're a bit wibbly wobbly just now, I will try and stay still, but it's a case of do as I say, not quite as I do, I think. Right, so last week we started with ones. Well, we did ones, twos, fours, eights. And we've also done eights, fours, twos, and ones. So we're going to join both of those together today. I think we'll start with the, let's start with the ones. Okay, so we're going to take one glissé with each leg. One, 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 one. Then we're going two on each leg. One, two, one, two, then four, four, 
three, two, one, four, three, two, one, then eight. So imagine we've done eight and eight. Then on the repeat, we're going to start with the eight. So we do eight, eight, four, four, two, two, one, 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 one. Okay, I will hopefully shout out the correct number at the correct point in time. But based on how well I've counted the last few weeks, it's not guaranteed. So ones, twos, fours, eights, eights, fours, twos, ones. Ones, one. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry. Yeah, ones, twos, fours, eights. That's right. Sorry. I told you my counting wasn't good. Let's try again. Ready? And ones, twos, fours, four. Keeping the body really still. Eight, eight. Trying to keep really still. Dive right to the tips of your toes. Change. Eight again. Eight. Very really sharp toe. Change. Going back down to fours. Four. Change. Two. Ones. And pause. Well done. Um, just towards the end, I could start to see bodies just starting to move side to side. Um, the, doing the four lots of eight in a row really works your thighs. Okay? The, the single ones, what we're doing is really working the leg you're standing on a bit more. So think about um, lifting, almost lifting your hips or your, your bum cheeks up off your legs. So we've got that pull up right from underneath. Okay, as you take the single ones, just try that. One, 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 one. Yeah, so you really lift it up off those legs. Right, we'll do that next week. Next, in fact, no. What we'll do just now, let's try it starting with the eights. So we'll do eights, fours, twos, ones. Ones, twos, fours, eights. I'll get it right first time. And then next week we can join both sets together in a grand finale. Here we go. So we're starting with eights this time. Ready? Eight and eight, seven, six. Change. Eight, seven. Four, four. Two. Then turn one, single. Ones again. One. Twos. Fours. Eight. Oh, it's getting tough on the legs. Change. And rest. Good. Well done. Give your legs a little shake off. That was super. Right, so change of mood. We're going on to our rond de jambes now. Bring this in a wee bit. Okay, and the rond de jambes where we circle the legs, so we're working our hips a bit more rather than um, the, the legs so much. Um, we added some arms into this last week. Okay, so we went. Arm goes forwards, up, open, and for. So it's just making circles, basically, um, fa slower or slightly faster, depending on the speed of the legs. So we're starting with the outside leg, and we're going slowly first. One, and side, and uh, back with the leg. So when we're going slow, the arm kind of comes down with, as the leg closes through. One, and uh, two, and uh, three, and uh, four. Four. Then we take the legs smoother, so it's a bit more of a whoosh with the arm. One, and two, and three, and four. Then that leg you've just used steps forward, your arm comes up to fifth. 
okay? And we just bring that bar arm forward with you. You change to face the other side or top hands, ready to go with the other leg. So we'll just mark it with the other leg, just for the people who didn't, haven't added the arm in before. Come a wee bit far forwards, actually. You see better there. Here we go. So we go front hand to, sorry, front hand two and three into first. Front hand two and three into first. And smooth, whoosh with the arm. Whoosh with the arm. Step forward with the leg you've used. Pull up, squeezing in. This hand comes forward with you. Turn around, we're ready to go again on the other side. There we go. Okay, right, here goes. It goes better with the music than my singing, as it, most things do. Ready. Taking the leg forward. And two, three, through first. Then wish with the arm. Wish. Wish. Step up. Change. And that if you, the arms get confusing, you can just leave the arm out to the side. That's okay. Ready to push the arm. Wish. Step up, going on the other side again. So this time, try and think about keeping the hips really still as the leg travels around. Well done. And push. And step up, change. And front. And step forward with that leg, pull up, use the arm to lift you. And stretch, pull the shoulders open. Take a nice photo at the end. Good. Well done. Especially when I remind you about keeping still, because, because we've added the arm in, your brain starts to think of the harder part first which is the arm, which means it starts to forget what's happening, it's like the lower down. So remember, when we run the jambe, keeping the pelvis still so the leg can move itself. Right, grand batman. Oh, this was a tough one. This is another one where last time we were here, we added an arm in. Optional, optional extra. You can either just leave it to the side, excuse me, <coughs> leave it to the side if you wish, or when the leg's working to the front, the arm will be lifted in fifth, so we'd go kick and a close, kick and a close, kick and a stretch and a lift and a close. Then the leg goes to second, the arm comes to second. Second and close, second and close. Yeah, da, 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 da. Arm came to arabesque, the arm is in front, the leg is at the back. One and a close, two and a close. Yeah, da, 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 yum. We open the arm back to second again to do the retires as we lift your knee. One, close, two, close, three, close, change, ready to go on the other side and get the arm to fifth. So I know some of you did ballet when you're younger. As you turn, the arm can either come out and up or it can just kind of take a shortcut and come straight up. So it doesn't really matter how it gets to fifth. Um, different syllabus teach different paths for the arm to go. Okay, but it's got to get back up if you're using the arm. If not, just take it to the side. Here we go. Oh, that's not right, sorry. Ready, and up, close. Up, down, up, to the arm to the side, leg to the side. Leg 
right to the back, arm to the front. We stretch that leg behind you. We're going into our retiri. Up, down, two, down, three, change. Kick, two, up, down, up to the side. Up, down, up, there you are. Take the arm open, lift the knee. Change. Well done. Good. Um, sorry, he's desperate to play that second tune today. Remember when the arm is at the front, we want to try and avoid pulling forwards with that shoulder. Okay, that's the natural thing to do. So what you want to do is pull the shoulders wide. So we're keeping our collarbone as straight as possible with the arm, rest for, the arm rested forwards. Okay, for your arabesque rather than that way. Okay, it's quite hard to do. I noticed in the mirror that I, I was doing a bit of a pull. Maybe I was the only one, I don't know. Okay, so really keeping the shoulders open and working there. Right, let the pianist, it's, um, David Plumpton, I think, play this tune now for our releves. Right, so we're taking feet in third or fifth, um, and we've got three releve fifths. That's the one where you squeeze the whole legs together. Squeeze, plie, squeeze, plie, squeeze, plie, yay. <coughs> and then we're taking a chape releve to second position. Up into second, so remember we're going up, so we're making kind of a nice A shape, and then close with the other, closing your plie with the other leg in front. Up and down, two and down, three and down, and open. Up, okay. Um, we were going to, I think, oh no, that's fine. We'll just, I think it goes four times. Um, things to think about, you can have both hands on the bar, remember just rest them on the bar, or... You can take both arms in first, okay, if you don't want to use the bar. Whichever version you're doing, just watch on the landing when we're going straight down and we're not going to tip and start to come backwards and forwards on the ups and downs. <laughs> Lifting up. Those two more times. Six. One more. And open. Then we had a rest. Get ready. Five, six, seven, and squeeze. Open. Keeping straight on the landing. Open. Rest there. Well done. That was super. Um, I'm pretty sure, although I can only just see some of you, some of you are a bit dark, um, that everyone was smiling too, which makes it even more fun. Right, let's stretch our legs now. So a bit like we've done the last few weeks, we're starting from the bottom and working up. And again, as always, with all these stretches, just work or adjust the position to whoever suits you, because we're all, all quite different. Okay, um, and... I'm, I'm a bit tight and sore. Okay, so we're going to start off facing the bar. Of an angle, I think. Right, so a little plie in parallel. We're going to push one heel back down towards the floor, keeping the hips pushed forward. Trying to feel a stretch at the back of your calf, shoulders relaxed. Change 
legs. Remember, we don't want to tip the bottom back, you get pushed forwards. just behind the other and bend both knees down so trying to go straight down change legs and bend both knees down face your bar again these can be done without a bar if you wish you can be as high or low as you wish a really wide second position into a plie and a little rock side to side so you're pushing over to stretch the bottom of your calf and it'll also stretch up here We're going to just take that further over into a lunge and raise your toes, trying to keep your shoulders lifted. Change. Four, three, two, one. Change. Four, three, two, one. Change. We'll do one more on each side. Those feet back in. Okay, you're just going to lift up one knee, pull it in towards your chest, and you're trying to get it as close in as you can. So there were options, remember, to either just hold on to your foot, push the hips forward and try and get the knees lined up, or you could have one foot on your chair and bend. And what we're trying to do in this position is keep the tail tucked down, you'll feel a stretch in the front of the hip there. Okay, you need to be quite a long step away from your support if you're using a support. Keeping the hips pushed forwards. You feel a stretch here. And change legs. Just do the same again. So either holding on to the foot or foot up. Again, if you're using something to rest your foot on, make sure it's something that's not going to tip over. Just work these muscles here. We haven't done this for a few weeks. So either, um, well, the height depends on you. So if you feel more flexible, you can take your leg up onto a high surface, or slightly lower, or slightly lower. Okay, whichever version you feel comfortable with. Want to be straight and then reach towards your toes. Okay, so not scrunching in. Keep breathing in that position. 
Aiming for a nice long back, so you're reaching forwards rather than down. And relax. Gonna swap legs, same thing. You can go high, medium, or low. Just go here. Okay, and you're reaching forwards towards your toes rather than down towards your knee. in and out. And bring the legs in carefully, especially if they're high. Right, last one. We're going to work those muscles again, but also our back and shoulders. So, both hands onto your bar. Walk back, pushing your shoulders down. So again, if you're flexible, take your hands on a lower surface for this one. Okay, so for this one, the opposite to our legs, the higher the surface, the easier it is, and the lower the surface, the harder. Or more intense. Really pushing the shoulders down, sticking your bottom out. Right, so in this position, stay there, but you're going to pull your tummy button in, tuck your chin in, and try and curve your back up towards the ceiling. Now we're going to reverse that, push your tummy button down to the floor, arch your back, and look up towards your hands. And then curve up. And down, push down. And pull up. Push down. Now try and find the flat back position again. So looking directly to the floor. And just relax your knees and walk back in. Okay. So next one we're not going to use the bar for. Okay, so we'll just take a second position with our feet. Hold up here. Gonna reach up and over. One, two. Lifting up and over. Bring the feet into first position. We're going to take a forward port de bras all the way to the floor. So we're reaching towards the floor. Then remember there's a connection between the line of your head and hands to come back up and open. Now I don't, I can't fold at the moment. So you reach this down as far as you can. You might only get to being able to see your belly button. You might get to your knees or you might get to the floor. Just work the best you can. Ready, reaching down. And pull up. Is it in your own time? We're going to take four of them. We really pull the legs together as you come up. Got one more to go, roughly. Depends how fast you're going. Finish the little sway and twist. And relax. Right, give yourself a shake off. If you move your props out the way. So our port de bras, we're starting in first position and we're using fourth position with the arms. So taking arms first and second. We're going to take the right arm, or whichever arm looks like your right arm in the camera. Three and four. We take a lunge over to the side. Five 
and six. Use this arm to step out. Sutanu, seven and eight. Then we start again with the other arm. One and two. Left three. Change four. Over five and six and seven and eight. Okay, right. So you all know keeping that lovely long line with the arms. Ready? And first, second, fourth. Reach up and over. again. First, second, lift up. Squeeze. Over to the side and step out and come down. Just rest there. So last week, Pause him a second. Last week we tried those arms again, but with a balance. So we're going to go one and two, then we go three and four, five and six. So same arms, it's just the feet that have changed. Then we step out for our sutanu. Then we start with the other arm. Da, da, ya. Go this way. Da. Da yum ba da yum ba da yum. Step turn up. Um, so if you are travelling on the balance to the right, your arms, if you had pointy fingers, would point the way you're going. So they go over the same way as you, just the same as they did on the transfer of weight. Okay, right. So first position, and the first way we're going to go, we're going to lift up this arm and go that way first. Okay, so. It should look like you're going to the, your, you're lifting your right arm first and going to the left. But I know some people's cam devices maybe flip the pictures around, so here we go. Ready? Open, bouncy. Six, step, turn, squeeze. First, second, we're going this way. Five, six, step, turn. This way. Really step out. And out, and come down, rest there. So, bring my balance is a bit wibbly wobbly. What you're trying to do on the step out on the balance, and I know some of you are in really small spaces, so it might not work, but it's something you can practice in the garden. Um, you're trying to think of the Batman Glissi we did with that really long straight leg. So, as you fondue, you stretch the leg out and then you really push as far as you can. So rather than just traveling to where your toe's pointing, you're pushing a bit further. So we're using the fondue and the glissy kind of at the same time from our bar work. Yes, yeah, so it really does travel side to side. The only thing is, if you're a bit wibbly wobbly like me, then it's a bit, it does get your balance a little bit. So we're trying to really push as far to the side as you can on that. Okay, glissades, glissade paraburi. This was fantastic the other day. Um, so let's see, right leg behind in third position, arms in third. We had the slower version first, which was two glissade and a paraburi. So a glissade was a long gliding step close. And one 
and two. Use the same leg, but you're doing a paddy booty back to your space. One, two, three. Three little steps, sloping arms. And one, and two. One, two, three. Then we changed it to three glissades. And one, and two, and three. Paddy booty. Ta, ta, ta. And one, and two, and three. Ta, ta, ta. Then we had single glissade, one glissade, paraburi. Glissade, ta ta ta, glissade, one, two, three, glissade, one, two, three. So we did that three times, then we're at the fifth. Moment to pause, regain your thoughts, then we start again. And tuck that underneath in case I kick it. Right. So, right leg derriere, and the glissades that we're doing are glissade de derriere. So we're using the back leg each time and it's staying at the back. Okay. If you're a bit more advanced, you can work out if you want to change, glissade over, glissade under. Just make sure you get the correct leg for your paraburi. Ready? Two. And one, two. Behind. And one, two. Three. And one, two. Three, ta, ta, ta. and one, two, three. Singles, glissade. Yellow V. Right, give your legs a shake. Get the right leg dead air again. Ready, here we go. Two, and one, two. And one, two. Three glissade. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Single ones. Glissade. One, two, three. And relevé. Lovely. And relax. Just give me a legs a shake. Good job. Well done. And I'm not sure because of how the cameras are. If everyone's feet were paraburying the right way, but everyone's travelling the same way at the same time. So that's good. <laughs> right, going on to our jumps and springs now. So we started in parallel, and it was like a hopscotch, except we did scotch hop. So we went, little bounce, then land on one leg. And the reason we're doing it in parallel first is to get your brain thinking about that knee tracking over your toes about ping okay we do those about eight times then we're going to change to turned out positions okay so our legs in first it becomes a saute and a petty jetty okay and we're trying to land in first on the jump so it's much easier to go second but we're, we're just trying to do it from first position okay so we start in parallel remember if it gets too tough to jump just take it with the bends because you're working the same muscles, just not quite as intensively. Ready? Good, let's take the legs turned out, arms and draw back. First. And relax. Gonna bring them back into parallel. Five, six, seven. Oh no! Back into first. And and relax. Good. I must have done much more hopscotch today. Right, let's go on to changements. So this time we're staying on both feet. Okay, so our knees should be good at tracking. We're using our third or fifth position to land, arms and brava. Now, good news and bad news. Good news is it's really simple. We just take a one, a two, a three. Change one and two and three. So there's nothing difficult about the setting. 
she says. The bad news is that we do six sets, rest for one set, six sets, rest for one set, and then I've made a note that today we're doing that for a third time. <laughs> I don't know whose bright idea that was. It's one of my amazing, stupid ideas. Right, here we go. Let me just get the correct music. Okay, so same thing at any time, just take it to steps. We're trying to keep the arms still. If it feels too much hard work keeping your arms pulled down, take them onto your waist or just let them, let them swing. Okay, just to try and get the legs working on this one. Take a few deep breaths before you start. Wish me luck. So outside leg in front, I'll be right leg in front. Here we go. Six sets times three. Ah. And pause. Ready? Round two. And one, two, three. Six. Pause. <sighs> Ready? Round three. Here we go. Still smiling. Still breathing, I hope. Three, four, five, last set, six. Oh, well done, give me legs a shake. So, when you're going for back through this lesson again, if you are a powerhouse, because I know some of you are very fit, um, then what to do is just Rewind a little bit and try and add a fourth set in. Um, just, it's good for your stamina. Okay, right, let's take first position. Hands down at your side, shoulders open. We're going to take a little um, cool down. Right. We're going to take a sway to the side. One, two, three, then a whoosh with the arms. Push. One, two, Three, one, two, three. <sighs> okay, we're going to reach first position, reach to the floor and pull up. Reach to the floor, it's like a big bow. Step to the side, taking arms all the way up for our reverence, which is a curtsy. Okay, and the other side. Then first position, shoulders pulled down and open, showing off. And relax. Well done, ladies, as always. Right, thank you so much for joining me again today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the class. So um, next week is the last lesson in this little block and um, I'll have details of how, um, what the dates are for the, for the next little block. So again, for the time being, until we can get back to normal, whatever that normal is going to look like, um, we'll keep working in little short blocks um, so that hopefully as soon as possible we can get back together again in person hopefully right um i think that's all i need to let you know so thank you all very much and happy practicing and i'll see you next week